Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Erica, and I'm with Elite Chiropractic, a family wellness center right here in Sandy Springs. Today, we're going to have a conversation about stress. So who in here has some stress? Okay, Can, do either of you care to share your stressors in your life, some big ones? Um, my daughter's moving back home from college. Okay, children, family, jobs. Business. Business. All of those are very common stressors in our life. And guess what? You're not alone. But unfortunately, stress makes us sick, tired, and creates illness. Not only now, but as we age. But stress actually isn't those things that we were just talking about. Stress is actually a nervous system reaction. And this is how it works. Your brain sits up here in the back of your skull. This is your occiput. sits up here. And your brain stem communicates via your spinal cord, which goes through all of your vertebrae. All of these little nerves right here go to communicate to your cells, tissues, and organs in your body. There's actually 45 miles of nerves that go throughout your body. So we could lay them all out and go from here, downtown, and back with the amount of nerves that are communicating throughout your body. But when there's stress, it disrupts that message between the brain and the rest of your body. So that's when we have things like illness, sickness, and this brain kinds of stress that cause this interference in this brain-body connection. There's chemical stress, that's things like um, toxins in the environment, MSGs, GMOs, that's getting a lot of um, research and hit in the media, pollution, drugs, alcohol, all of those are chemical stress that really break down your body. Physical stress is car accidents, sports related injuries, things like that. And then finally, emotional stress, which is what we as humans really focus on. That's the family work, worrying, that negative energy. So all of these can disrupt that communication between your brain and your body. So what can we do to you know, break up this disruption? We're gonna talk about a few things. The first one that we're gonna talk about today is how you can shift your breath. So what we're gonna do is everybody take a few deep breaths for me, please. Okay. As I look around the room, I'm seeing most of you raise your shoulders up and let it down. That's actually called chest breathing. And that um, actually promotes increased anxiety in our body because we're not getting enough oxygen to the rest of our organs. So I'm gonna teach you a new way to breathe, which is kind of weird. Nobody really teaches you how to breathe. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you put your hands on your belly, good. And you're gonna take some deep breaths. When you breathe in, your stomach is gonna be pushed out and when you exhale, your stomach is gonna come in. This is actually using all of your vital capacity of your lungs, and it does take some getting used to, so let's try a few breaths. So this actually promotes relaxation, and you might have already been able to feel that kind of switch. It promotes that relaxation because you're using your diaphragm. It actually decreases risks of high blood pressure, headaches, digestion problems, and many other common illnesses just by circulating enough oxygen throughout your brain. Next, we're gonna talk about ways that you can shift your energy. Laughter, everybody knows that laughter is one of the best medicines, right? Also, community service. That's out of John Hopkins University. Community service decreases stress in your life. Having an active social and religious life um, being involved in your church or some of the prayer groups and things around here. That's out of the Journal of Psychosomatic Medicine. Meditation is always a great way to reduce that stress and really get your body functioning better. And also, obviously, good nutrition, exercise, and proper hydration. When you're eating, make sure you're choosing organic whole foods and good supplements, as well as getting proper amount of hydration. Next. Um, essential oils can be really involved in shifting your energy. We are going to talk about three really quickly. One is peace and calming. Um, this calms your tensions, uplifts the spirit, and promotes relaxation. You can put it on the bottom of your feet or on your neck and chest and shoulders um, when you're getting ready to go to bed. So I'm going to pass that around. Next, we have Stress Away, which is a blend of vanilla, lime, and other essential oils. 
that relieves daily stress. You can um, put this, this is a nice roll on, so it's easy to carry with you when you're sitting in that traffic and about to freak out. You can roll it on your temples, wrists, things like that. And then finally, we have lavender. Most people are pretty familiar with lavender helping promote relaxation. Lots of um, products that are used right before bedtime, you know, the pillow sprays and things have lavender in it. That also um, helps the body adapt to stress and imbalances. And then finally, we're going to talk about structure. Has anybody heard structure determines function? So structure determines functions. When there's a misalignment in your spine or a subluxation, it spins upon itself like that, and it puts pressure on this nerve. That decreases that brain-body connection, which is why having a chiropractor look at your spine and make sure that everything's functioning good to help prevent illness, sickness, disease processes and letting this everyday stress affect your body. Chiropractic care have a better, stronger immune system. They get sick less often, they miss less days of school or work, and they have less medication costs because they're not needing those because they're living that active, healthy, pain-free lifestyle that they enjoy. So what you can do, again, just quickly bottling it all up, getting your family checked by a chiropractor, massage, pray, meditation, practicing gratitude and appreciation, really taking everybody that you love and telling them, hey, thanks for what you do, I really appreciate it. Participating in exercise, eating whole foods and organic as often as you can, and really getting quality time and relationships with you and your loved ones. And also living your ideal life now. That's really important because so many people plan to live an ideal life when they're retired, but really focusing on it now and being able to enjoy that with your family is so important. So if you have other questions or want to learn how you can reduce stress, increase your immunity, decrease pain, and live an active, healthy lifestyle, please contact myself, Dr. Erica, at Elite Chiropractic. That's www.elitechiropracticllc.com or on the phone at 678-517-0240. Thank you.